welcome back to another vlog so juan and i just made crepes i'm so excited for them so he made dolce de leche crepes and i made chocolate and bananas those are always like that's like my favorite type of crepe i remember going to paris when i was like studying abroad my mom and i like went to paris like after i was done like with the study abroad portion of it and like I had chocolate and banana crepes for the very first time although I think it was dark chocolate um, it was the most amazing thing I've ever had so I'm excited that we made some crepes here is the dolce de leche ones and here is the chocolate and banana so the ultimate taste test let's see how we did we made it so many we even cut the recipe in half but we still made like what was it about 12 yeah. like crepes so mmm I made a just chocolate one too. I'm sure that one's delicious. I'm gonna be all sugared up, like all this chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. Babe, the only chocolate one? Mm hmm. So good. But it's probably gonna be too sugary, but. Too sweet for me? Yeah. But you like Dolce de Leche, and Dolce de Leche is pretty sweet. His dulce de leche is like legit, it's authentic. He brought it back from Argentina. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to try it? It's not like dulce de leche from here, you know? Although, do you think like if you get it from the store that it's imported from Argentina or do you think it's just like made in the US, like made whatever? Um, if you go to a special place, you'll find the one that it's imported. Mm -hmm. Mm. This is tasty. Super good. See, that's super sweet. That's a lot sweeter than that. But I like this more than that. That's wild. <laughs> but you also, I think that if this was dark chocolate, you would like it. No, it's not about liking it. It's not the chocolate, you mean? I don't feel this as sweet as that. Really? No. That's majorly sweet. One of our favorite shows, La Casa de Papel, came back on to Netflix. What was it a week ago? Was that when it was released? They released part four, and we are so obsessed with this TV show. It's insane. It's um, oh, Money Heist. It's called okay. It's called Money Heist on Netflix. It's a show from Spain, so it's in Spanish. Uh, we watch it with it actually in Spanish, um, and I just read the subtitles of it. I we don't dub it is what i guess what i'm trying to say shows from spain are some of my all-time favorite i became like absolutely obsessed would you say like two years ago at this point it's around like i think when you broke your leg or broke your ankle when i became obsessed with like shows from spain three years ago was it three years ago wow okay three years ago but netflix just has so many good shows that are in spanish and i'm like so obsessed with the majority of them like velvet so good you guys i highly recommend that um cable girls oh another like really good one although i am like really behind on that i think i'm like a season or two behind i've been wanting to like get watching it again but money heist we've stayed 100 percent on top of and watched that full thing there's other shows too that i've watched but that just came out and we finally got around to like sitting down and binge watching it so that's what we've been doing between yesterday and today we're almost done we have one more episode and we're done with it but it's so intense so good and yeah we're probably just gonna start watching the last episode while i finish the rest of this crate but yeah it's such a good show okay you ready to watch it ready So I feel like I'm in the mood to try to like clean, organize, declutter and all that stuff today. So I'm going to try to do that. Like I'm feeling like a bit anxious today and I just like I want to get my mind off of it. And I figured the easiest way to do that is just to clean anybody else. Like I love to clean when like when I'm feeling anxious. Um, 
and I know I've been saying that I want to like declutter like my closet and stuff for a while. I don't know if I've mentioned it all that much on here, but it's been on my mind for a long time. I just like have this idea in my mind that I want to be like a minimalist. Like I don't want to own a lot of stuff. Just having a lot of stuff just creates clutter in my mind, I guess. And so I feel like I want to be more simple, but I'm not like, I just hold on to things thinking like, oh, I'm gonna use this in the future. Like what if one day I'm gonna use, I'm gonna need this or like things are attached to memories or whatever else. Like it's just a part of being human, right? You have like that, but it's time. I need to like be ruthless. I just need to like be like, no, I haven't used this in the last six months or I haven't worn this in the last six months or whatever else. Like I don't have a purpose for it right now, so don't hang on to it, you know? So we'll see how much I give away, how little I give away. We'll just see, but really I just want to organize and hopefully declutter a lot. Okay, so the first thing that I really wanna go through is like drawer thing next to my vanity. This just houses like beauty, skincare, hair, some tech stuff is in there as well. So I want to clean this out. This just has so much stuff in it, you know, and I'm just, this isn't necessary. I don't use any of it, you know? Yeah. And then the other area that I really want to tackle, this is like my linen closet, I guess. I'm, I'm embarrassed to even show this on camera right now, but it's okay. Cause we're going to reorganize it guys this is ridiculous okay so this is my like linen closet it is full i have so much shit like why why do i need all of this i don't you know i have this section by my door like where my furnace is that has like a bunch of stuff it goes deep there's like a big bin back here so we're gonna see how much i can clean this out my bedroom, of course, is another thing. I actually have made progress on this closet since the last time I spoke about it. I think I pulled out like at least 10 things from it that I want to get rid of. I reorganized all of my shoes and got rid of, I think like five pairs of shoes um, as well. So I feel pretty good about that. Obviously a lot more progress that I need to make on that. Another thing for me are my drawers. This is like all of like my activewear stuff, so that's a hot mess and I need to go through that. I also am getting like more sweatpants and stuff and I've just been stuffing everything in this drawer, so that drawer has got to be cleaned up a lot. You can see over here I like reorganized the Poshmark stuff. These are the things right here that I took out of my closet that are in really good condition that I want to sell. And then these are bags that I've started to gather that... um is like for goodwill and stuff like that so so we have a lot on my to-do list i don't think i'm gonna get through all of this by any means but let's see how much progress i can make mostly i want to work on the stuff out there first because i feel like once you like get in the mindset of it that once i get to the clothes it might be easier you know to purge it's my thinking anyway okay let's go ahead and get started
Okay, I have like a whole bag full of stuff over there. This I cleaned out quite a bit and then like reorganized too, but this is all the makeup I have. In here is like my day-to-day -day makeup, so that I didn't clean out at all. This was complete overhaul. This was like packed, but now it's down to this, so I have like medicine and stuff in the back and then extra toothbrushes, skincare. This is just full of like little trial size, sample size, like small stuff. This doesn't look like it's that clean, but I promise it is. I have like SPF in the back, hair stuff. I have like things that I travel with. So like my shampoo, conditioner, and extra Q-tips and cotton pads and stuff, extra razors, shaving cream and stuff like that. This is pretty good in my opinion. Okay, this is as good as it's gonna get for now. I took a lot out, but honestly, there's a lot that I feel like I need to keep, you know? Like, this bag wasn't in here before, but this is Oliver's cat litter, and obviously essentials like paper towels, toilet paper, all of Oliver's stuff. I have cleaning products. I have tools. I have all like my towels and stuff, you know? I have winter stuff for going up into the mountain. I have beach towels. I have extra bedding. I don't know, I feel like this is all like essentials I feel like I have to keep, but I feel like this does look better.
it's the next day i think that like when it came to all of like the cleaning and organizing i did get a lot done but i think that i could have gotten more done i just think that this is gonna have to be completed in steps it's a lot to try to like clean out everything i do have like three garbage bags full of things that i want to get rid of and then i already took like one bag full of just garbage out to the garbage so i feel like that's pretty good but i think i'm just gonna continuously go back to the same spots throughout the upcoming weeks and just get more and more and more stuff out hopefully that was still fun so i actually wanted to since it's the sephora vib rouge like sale going on right now i wanted to share with you a few of my recommendations and a few of like my favorite go-to items so first and foremost the key things that i repurchase i always so like my staple products i like to repurchase at this time just to get it at like a cheaper price so this is like my all-time favorite foundation is from lancome i'll link all the stuff down below for you guys as well but this i'm in shade 215 buff neutral it's my ride or die i absolutely love this foundation i also picked up another one of my favorite mascaras this is the hourglass caution extreme lash mascara love that my favorite brow product is the anastasia brow wiz in soft brown love that and then what else did i repurchase oh i'm almost out of my bronzer i hit like pan on it so i just want to make sure i have it back up soon so my favorite is from hourglass this is the ambient luminous bronze light you guys it's absolutely perfect and speaking of this so i put this on first and i do go in with like a second bronzer if you guys have seen like my everyday makeup um routine but i love going in with this one afterwards it's from bobby brown it is in natural shade one but it's their bronzing powder i love this one because it's just a matte but those two just like work so well together and blend together so anyways i got that and then what else did i pick up and then i always like to have a backup of nars radiant creamy concealer i get this in light to vanilla this is my favorite and then i just stocked up on my mac pro longwear concealer i've been wearing this like the longest time this is definitely a ride or die of mine um i get it in nw20 but other favorites of mine from sephora the anastasia brow clear brow gel love this the peach perfect mattifying loose setting powder and translucent ride or die for this urban decay setting spray this is a little bit on the pricier side but i picked it up during the last rouge sale so definitely the time to pick this up but this is like the perfect brown eyeshadow shade it's from pat mcgrath it is in statuesque it's the eye dolls eyeshadow pick this up love it you guys I feel like those are like my favorite, my recommended, obviously like a beauty blender, but um, those are like my key recommendations for makeup. When it comes to, there's a few other things that I would mention. There's some perfume that I would want to share with you guys too. So my favorite perfumes at Sephora, the My Burberry, you guys. 100% obsessed with this. This I think is like my 10th bottle of it, but this smells so perfect it's not too sweet it's not too like manly it's right there in the middle this smells absolutely divine um the Giorgio Armani C this is so freaking great this is on the sweeter side but absolutely recommend these two an additional thing that I would recommend is this body whoop, this body butter from Josie Moran like you guys like this is so hydrating and so amazing and what i love about it is the clean ingredients in this i do not like coconut oil in my products and i feel like when you try to go clean they try to include coconut oil i do not like that but this is so moisturizing and my skin absolutely soaks it up loves it doesn't have any bad irritation or sensitivities to this so i highly recommend this product as well now i'm just going to take you around my apartment to find stuff a tangle teaser a must-have Oh, I guess if you have been dying to try out the Dyson, either hair dryer or the hair straightener, this is obviously a good time to try it. The Beauty Blender Solid, what is this? Yeah, it's just called Solid. This is my favorite makeup brush cleanser. It's so good, you guys. I love this. 
And then with the Orbe products that I've been absolutely loving for like the leave-in after you get out of the shower and wash your hair. Um, so apart from Orbe, I've been loving this Caviar Replenishing Moisture CC Cream. It's a 10 in 1 complete correction leave-in treatment. I've been using this I think for the last like 3, 4, 5 years. Love this stuff as well. That was a quick and dirty rundown of some of my recommendations. Hopefully you guys liked that. Oliver, what are you doing? I'm sure you noticed Oliver's been following me around. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you guys are having a good week, good weekend, good day. And yeah, I'll just see you in a couple of days in my next video. Bye guys, love you. Thank <laughs> you.